Welcome to The Unexpected Guest. My name is John Cleese and you have tuned in to my show here on my E300 channel. And I'm coming to you from Chicago and uh, my apartment here on Lakeshore Drive. And you can't see it, but I'm looking over beautiful Lake Michigan. And today, um, very exciting, we're actually going to make a vegetarian um, burger. I've never made that before and I've wanted to make it. And I saw this interesting article in Men's Health. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that today. But before I get started, uh, well, actually, let me just say, and in, in, in that burger, uh, we're going to go through the ingredients in a moment, but a friend of mine said that I was a little too hyper when I was cooking, that I needed to be a little less on my coffee and maybe do a little more drinking through the show. So um, in that honor, Rob, I have decided to um, drink a glass, thank you, Kevin, to drink a glass of pink Moscato, rose, Moscato, rose? I guess it's a rose Moscato, during the show to calm down a little bit so I don't stress him out when he's trying to cook. So, mm. Yummy, that is better than coffee. All right, so let's get started and talk about what's gonna be, and again, I've never made it, so it's very exciting, and I'm gonna bring up the food process in a moment, but uh, rolled oats, in fact, these are the same, well, actually, you still cut oats for the risotto show the other day. These are rolled oats, so this is what you'd have for breakfast or make with cookies. We're also gonna have quinoa. Now, this is quinoa that I cooked um, last night when I was making the burger. I've actually mixed in a red quinoa and a white quinoa, and you can also get a black quinoa. And if you do the black or the red, it's gonna look more like a burger. If you just use the regular um, white quinoa, obviously your burger's not gonna be the same. Um, so I've actually got it all mixed together um, in this jar. I mix them together. Um, it's also gonna have black beans. So the foundation is oats quinoa and black beans. Very interesting indeed. And I found these rolls, um, they said they were, these were uh, in the local grocery store around here, they were only 50 calories. I don't totally believe them, but they said 50 calories, so I grabbed them because that, that helped me with my dish. But um, obviously you can use it open, you can do an open face sandwich or whatever, but probably these are a lot of air in them, so maybe they are only 50 calories. So also in the burger, to spice it up, we're going to use, these are these, um, uh, these are called sport peppers. These are what we put in Chicago on our hot dogs here. And if you've ever had a Chicago dog, they're very strange. They've got tomatoes and onions and peppers and mustard. And I mean, it's, it's like a huge amount of toppings on them. But I'm gonna put these in because I like it spicy. And remember, the spicier your food, um, it, it should help you rev up your metabolism a little bit. Um, this is liquid smoke. I don't know if you've ever seen this, but you can get this in the aisle where you'll find your hot sauces. This gives it a really nice smoky flavor, um, makes it taste a little bit more like a burger. Um, we also have uh, Worcestershire sauce, which we're gonna put in there. We've got cumin, cayenne pepper. Am I, am I shaking? Do I need another drink? Um, mm, yummy. Cayenne pepper. So all of that's gonna go into the burger. Um, and then on top of the burger, we're going to use a tomato. There's no fat, so we're going to add some avocado. So you get, remember, fat help keeps you full and fat keeps you satisfied. So, you know, fat is good in moderation. So we're going to use the avocado for that. And then we're going to use some um, uh, roasted red peppers that I've just gotten out of a jar, a slice of red onions, and then um, ketchup and mustard. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the quinoa started. Some of you know how to make quinoa, some of you don't, so I'm going to go through it again. All right, so. For the quinoa, you basically, we're gonna do a cup of quinoa to one and a quarter cups of water on the stove, so it's not quite like rice. But the way that I'm gonna start it is, this is just some water in a, in a Pyrex dish. We're gonna put in a cup of the quinoa. And again, this is mixed quinoa, so I've got white, actually I have white, I've got regular red, and I think I even have some black in there. Um, I'm gonna put that in. And get a little chopstick. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stir this around a little bit. They're gonna soak up, they're gonna get, they're gonna um, clean up a little bit. And then I'm actually gonna pour them into here and then I'm gonna rock, take them over to the sink and then I'm just gonna drain them. Now, I was reading a bunch of, uh, excuse me, articles yesterday on quinoa. It was interesting because some people, if you want it really fluffy, and usually you do, although I don't think it matters in the burger that much, um, you actually, uh, after you rinse them, you really let it dry out, and then you actually toast it in the pan, which I've done before, which is nice, but we're not gonna do that for the burger. So, all right, so there you go. So you can see, I wanna show, Kevin, see how cloudy the water gets? So that's all the little 
junky stuff and the little like you know, you know whatever the stuff on the outside I don't know what the term is but you want to get all of that off then we're gonna pour it in here Oops. and then I'm actually gonna take it over to the sink and I'm gonna run I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna run this through the water a couple of times and get some more of the, um, the outside stuff washed off Okay, so I've got my quinoa uh, that I rinsed off underneath the stove. I'm just gonna let that hang out. I'm actually gonna put this back over here on the side for a second. And then I've got, in a small little saucepan, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, um, I, am, I am a mess today. Oh my Lord. Rob, I don't know if this is helping. I'm gonna put one and a quarter cups of water into my pan. I'm gonna set my burner on high. And I'm going to put a clove of garlic into the water um, just so that it has a little bit of more, more of a garlicky uh, flavor. Because I, I, I could have actually put it in the burger too, which I should um, next time. And I'll say this, the, you know, the most interesting thing about making this burger last night was I was realizing all the different things that I could do with it, like sauteing mushrooms and, and pureeing them into the mix. So I think if anything from this recipe, I think with the oats, the beans, and the quinoa, you have a really great base to go crazy and make whatever kind of burger you want to. So that's certainly what I'm gonna to start to do. Um, so I'm just gonna smash this garlic. And then we'll put, and I'll, uh, put this in the water, but I wanted to say when I was in the store yesterday, I found now, you know, they have all sorts of flavored quinoa, so you can get, you know, uh, you know, garlic flavored quinoa, Mexican flavored quinoa, you name it, they've made it. Um, so, I'm going to put this garlic into my press, and it goes all over the place except for in the pot, par for the course. See, my, my vision and my aim is off when I'm drinking during the show. Alright, I'm trying to go slow, be methodical for Rob. Hi, Rob. Okay. So, we got our garlic in our pan. I'm going to bring this to a boil. And then, and actually I'm going to put add a little salt too, I think. Now, once it comes to a boil, then I'm actually going to put the quinoa in, um, and then we're going to turn it down to, you know, it's like rice. You put the quinoa in, it brings down the boil, you bring it back up to a boil, we're going to put the lid in a jar, and we're going to let that cook for 15 minutes. But I already have some quinoa that I cooked. So I'm going to put this over to the side. Oh, actually, before we do that, while that's boiling, we need to prepare the beans. Now, for the beans, you have to drain the beans just like the quinoa, and you got to rinse them. So you're going to need, I think these are 15-ounce cans. So the total beans that we're going to use are actually one and three-quarters cups of beans, but you're going to need two of these 15-ounce cans um, to get to that amount. Because it's a little bit, it's about a can and a half. Oh, and I should say, uh, I wish I forgot to in the beginning of the show, um, this is this entire burger with the rolls and all the toppings is 308 calories. It's going to be 12 grams of fiber, 12 grams of protein. It is 10 Weight Watchers points. It's a little higher than we've done in the past, but you should know two of those points come from the avocado. Um, but that's fine because this is a very filling meal. And I've actually started eating a lot of beans lately. Really great with the fiber. I'm actually starting to add a little more fat, a little more fiber, um, because it's true, even though... It does matter how many calories you eat and how many calories you get rid of when you're exercising and just living. But the bottom line is the type of calories you eat fill you, you know, help fill you up. So if you if you stay within your calorie range, but you eat calories that are satisfying, unlike a piece of cake, um, then hopefully that should keep you on your weight loss program. So, okay, so I'm going to take these over to the sink and I'm going to rinse them off um, and then I'll be back in a second. Oh, 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 there goes the water. Okay, so my beans are rinsed off. My water's boiling. Where's my quinoa? Well, my quinoa's over here. So I'm going to now add the quinoa to my pan. I'll take it off the stove. Cause... Okay, now I'm going to bring it back to a boil. All right, so got this. And when you make quinoa, you can, you can flavor this up all sorts of different ways, but we're just going to use um, 
the garlic, and this time, I think the last time we did it, we put in a, 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 a pepper. All right, so this is now boiling, so I'm gonna turn this to a one on my stove. I'm gonna put the lid ajar. I'm gonna put this on 15 minutes, and there we go. All right, but, because I was a plan this, I, I, I was a planning. Lucy, you got a lot of explaining to do. All right, this is to get rid of this. All right, let me bring up my food processor. All right, so I got my food processor, so we're doing all of, you can do this in a blender if you want to, but I think it's easier than a food processor. Okay, so I got my food processor. Remember, this is what I love about this one. I think I showed you all this before. This thing, watch it, listen. That is nice, so that when you dump stuff out, it doesn't come out. So, so we put this back on, that's down, set. So, let's see, okay, so two thirds cup, I'm gonna take a sip. Because I need to relax, I'm not, I need to be a little more relaxed. All right, two thirds cup quino cooked quinoa. So here's our cooked quinoa again. So this is a third of a cup measure, so we'll do one. And this makes, I should say, this makes six three ounce patties. Now these patties are like those little patties you used to get um, at the fast food. You know, these are not your big like quarter pounder things, but you can do whatever you want. The patty itself is only 132 calories and three Weight Watchers points, so if you wanted to double up, you could. Um, but I think this is plenty. So I've got two thirds cup quinoa, cooked quinoa. Uh, I've got one and three quarters cup of black beans. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna put the oats in first. It doesn't really matter, but I think it, uh, doesn't really matter, but I'll do it anyway. Um, oh, so actually it's equal, is that right? Equal oats, that doesn't make sense to me. Two thirds cup quinoa, two thirds cup rolled oats. Okay, so it's equal quinoa, equal oats. Then go the oats. And I'll tell you, for those of you from the Mid-Atlantic, I didn't realize that Scrapple is actually, it's made from, uh, which is pork products that are made in Pennsylvania, sort of like scraps of pork and stuff, and it's, it's put into this loaf and we used to fry it up and eat it for breakfast. Terrible for you, but this actually ends up, it tastes a little bit like a burger, but actually I find it tastes more like Scrapple. So I'm actually gonna make this um, as a breakfast thing with eggs, because I think it's delicious. I used to love Scrapple growing up, but I, you know, again, like I said, it's just a lot of pork junk. Um, all right, and one, three, one and three quarters cup rinsed black beans. So this is one cup. And, I'm, and three quarters. And it's so, I'm so glad I finally did this because I've always wanted to make a veggie burger. I mean, not that I like to eat meat, don't get me wrong, but I thought it'd be fun to try it out. And I was talking to a friend, my friend Barkley, and he said he's never had it before either. So, all right, so into this mixture goes three of my sport peppers. Uh, this is a uh, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. You could also use chili pepper. This is a teaspoon, what is this? This is a teaspoon of cumin, which I love. This is the tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And liquid smoke. I don't know if you've ever, it's, it's unbelievable. You have to buy this stuff. It tastes like smoke. It smells like smoke. It tastes like smoke. All right, and that's what's gonna go in here. And oh, let me get a little salt and pepper. And a little pepper. I was disgusted at the, my flabby arms in the plum the pork tenderloin with plum, so I'm trying to keep myself rigid. Kevin made me look this disgusting, Kevin. Disgusting. I like I was, I mean, I'm 94, but still, my skin should be more taut. All right, here we go. I'm gonna pulse it a little bit. And again, if it's too wet or too dry, you can, you can, you can, you know, switch up the ingredients. I'm just using the pulse, and now I'm gonna put it on low. And it forms this little ball. Now it's interesting because yesterday when I made it, the quinoa was hot and steamy and I didn't know if that made a difference, so we'll find out today. I'm gonna put it on high. And with this, you definitely have to, 
You definitely have to come down on the sides and make sure that it keeps getting blended because it turns into this little ball. You could put garlic in here, like I said. You could put mushrooms in here. Now, I will experiment as I keep making these with how mushy I want, but I made them last night and it was really smooth and I actually sort of liked it that way. This looks very different. This looks a little different because of the quinoa, so, but I think it's gonna be fine. Do a little bit more. Ugh. It almost makes like a little bit of a paste, but now you don't want the whole thing pasty. Yes, I will pull some out and show you. You don't want the whole thing to be pasty, but this is what it, so this is what it looks like. So you can see, right? Now, last, last night when I made them, this was so hot. I took down the peppers a little bit. So I think that's pretty good. Um, that's fine. I think that we're going to call that done. And you can make a you can make a you can make a ton of this for the week. And like I said, this makes six burgers. And we are going to fry this up in olive oil. And that is, um, I would not bake these to cut down on the fat. You need to fry them up because you have to get a crunchy outside to make these taste like anything. All right. So you can see some pieces are. You know, it's like a bean mush, um, and other pieces you can still see the oats in there, you know, so there's some texture in it. Um, and, oops, <laughs> and you know, garlic or whatever else in here would be um, delicious. So, sorry. So now we're going to make this into six three ounce patties. I'm going to get my scale. And you need to wet your hands. Um, you need to wet your hand. Actually, hold on. Before I do that, actually, let me, um, I'm going to weigh. I'll show you guys. You know what I do? I'm going to weigh each one of these so it's easier to do it. I'm going to turn it on. I put a little bowl on it. Okay. And then we want three ounces. That's for each burger. Okay. There we go. And then you're just going to take this. And again, this is a thin patty. This is like, uh, this isn't a big, thick burger, but you want something that's, you know, it's going to fit inside your butt. Um, and let's, whoops. We're going to, I can fit three of these in a pan, so I'm just going to do three of these for you. That's three ounces. They don't, they don't, um, you know, fluff up or anything. So what you put in is what you get. So you ball it and then you smash it? You... you ball it and then you smash it. Kevin's asking me questions. Hold on, Kevin's talking, I need a drink. Mm. Oh, yes, Kevin. Um, yes, well, you know, you can, I, I, you know, it's like making a cookie, so I just sort of roll it in a little bit of a, a ball, if you want, so you get the shape, for, and then just press it down. Makes sense? So, the, you know, I'll tell you, does it taste like a hamburger? No, but it doesn't taste like oats or beans or quinoa either. So, like I said, it's a nice little in-between. So, those are our patties. So, I can, like I said, I can get six out of these, but I'm only make three of them because that's all that's going to fit in my pan. And I can fry these up. I'll deal with these later off the set. So, all right. So, we have our three patties. And uh, when we come back, we are going to fry them up. Okay, we are back and we are going to fry up our um, vegetarian burgers. And again, I don't usually drink during the show, but my friend Rob said I was way too hyper, um, so I needed to calm down. So instead of drinking coffee, I'm actually having a little Moscato. <coughs> what was that? Which I, which I need some more of. That's lovely. Oh, oh my God. Right, well, Julia Child used to drink. Maybe that's why everybody loved her so much. All right. Whew. Relax. In with anger, out with love. Okay, here we go. Pan, I have a number stove that goes from low to high, but then one to nine. I did this yesterday. I'm gonna put this like five and a half, six. 
I'm using a tablespoon of olive oil. And uh, you know what? Let's measure that out if I have something handy. Let's see. I always want to see, you know, I always throw it in there, but I'm never sure if I'm as accurate as I should be. I think I am. But let's see. A tablespoon is one, two, three, four counts. Okay, that's a good way for you to learn it if you have your little, uh, if you have it in a jar like I do. So, so, one tablespoon of olive oil. And actually, you know what, I did not count that in the calorie count, so you're going to have to add about 33 calories to that or so. But it doesn't all, it, it actually absorbs the oil, which I was surprised. Here's an interesting little um, tidbit that I learned. When you fry, if you fry in lard, less of your food, uh, food does not absorb as much lard as it does if you use olive oil um, or other fats. So um, there was some discussion as to whether or not it's actually better to actually fry stuff in lard, if you can believe it. We actually come all full circle, don't we, in terms of these things? So, all right, so that's gonna heat up. Well, that heats up. Let's start a little bit of our fixings for a second. I'm gonna do, um, oh, I need, my, I need my cutting board. Oh, my quinoa is done. Oh, that's actually perfect. I can show you this. So here's the quinoa, and the white that you see in there is the little, um, is the garlic. This stuff is the garlic, not the quinoa. So once your quinoa is done, turn off the stove, put the lid on it, and you want to let it sit for five minutes before you fluff it. And that will make you perfectly fluffy quinoa. So let's see. So I'm heating up my oil. Here's another little tidbit I'll give you. The best way to keep stuff crispy after you fry it is to actually not stick it on a paper towel, but to stick it on a rack, right? Because if you stick it on a paper towel, it just sits in the oil if any of the oil is coming off. So you put it on a rack over your paper towels. This works for bacon, fried chicken, whatever. Um, all those great low calorie meals of bacon and fried chicken. <laughs> you know what I have would love is, um, uh, I was at a restaurant the other day, uh, fried chicken and waffles. I don't totally get it, but it looked, it looked good, but it's clearly a Southern thing. Um, anyway, put it on a rack. Not right under the paper towel. Um, avocado, uh, we're gonna get two ounces of avocado. So, and actually, so two ounces of avocado is actually 90 calories and it's two Weight Watchers points, but it's gonna make this really delicious. And I wanna show you with an avocado for those that, these are a little bit old. Okay, so there's my avocado. I'm gonna show you a little trick. Here's what I do. I take a knife, go into the um, nut, and then just pull it out. See that? Just go whack, move your hand, and then I just take it over to the trash can and dump it in. The other little trick I can show you with an avocado is take a spoon, a big spoon, stick it underneath the skin. And oh, and then you always have this little piece right here. There's always this little where it was attached. I just peel that off like a little butt, bud. Stick your spoon in so you get a big spoon and go right underneath the skin of it and you can peel out the whole thing. And I actually need another, well, I'll stick it over here for you. And then you can get the whole avocado out, right? So that's, that's an easy way to do the avocado. Okay, so I think this is ready to go. Four minutes aside on these patties. Ooh, could have been a little hotter. I don't hear any sizzle, but they'll be fine. There you go. And I'm gonna put the timer on four minutes. Oops. Were you laughing at me, Kevin? What's the matter? Is everything all right? Okay. I never know. I was gonna make sure Kevin's happy. Um, okay, so two ounces of avocado. I'm just gonna use this plate. The nice thing about the vegan food, it doesn't matter that it was raw. Um, I've zeroed out my scale. And get two ounces of avocado. Ooh, I actually get a lot of avocado. That, that's one. I wonder if we get the whole half on this one. Two and a quarter. Weep. Weep. Oh my God, I'm making a mess. Okay. Oh, that's ridiculous. Okay, there we go. All right, so there you go. Oh, you know what? I'm eating it. It'd be ridiculous. Okay, so. We have two ounces of avocado. 
We also have, anything else? I don't think I need to weigh anything else. We have this delicious tomato, and I actually need, um, I'm gonna do a nice big slice of these delicious tomatoes. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I love tomatoes. If you saw the show we made, um, I think we made it with the steel cut risotto where we did the uh, cilantro, olive oil, lemon mm -hmm. sauce. Um, I was putting that on tomatoes. That's actually a very big piece, but that'll be good for a burger. Okay, so all this is going, that's too big, John, for Lord's sake. That's not what I'm gonna get online. How am I gonna deal with that? Let's see if I can cut this in half, or not half, but. I use a serrated knife when I cut tomatoes. I think it's easier. Serrated knife is with the, the bread knife. Okay, there we go, that's better. All right, so I got my tomatoes. I'm gonna do a slice of red onion. I'm gonna just, red onion I don't always peel all the time when I do it. I'm just gonna cut down in the middle. Then I'm gonna take out my little, I'm alone again this evening so I can eat onions and garlic. Oh, that's too thick too. What is my problem today? Well, I'm gonna peel. My friend Natasha, she would eat this whole thing just like it is. She loves, she loves her raw onion and her garlic. All right, I'm gonna see if I can slice this a little bit thinner. Woo! That's too big. You know what, I'm doing ringlets. The heck with it. I thought I could do a big slice, but I'm gonna do cut a little bit more. Okay, there we go. All right, so we got onions and avocado, and I've got my red peppers are all ready to go. So that's, so that's our fixings for that. We need to cut our bun. Kevin likes his buns toasted, but he's not gonna get a toasted bun this time. Oh, these are a whole wheat. These look good. Let me get a plate. This is all set. And, okay, so that's four minutes. And I'm gonna flip this. Let's see if they're done. They get pretty black underneath when you're, okay, so there we go. So that's what they look like when they're, when they're cooked. You gotta admit, they look like those, they look like a little burger. Okay, now back for four minutes. Four minute timer, okay. Um, and that's it, we'll let those cook up and uh, when those are finished, we'll come back and we'll make our burger. Okay, so our uh, vegetable burger made with uh, rolled oats and black beans and quinoa is done. Buzzer's going off. I'm gonna turn off the stove because I'm old and that's the first thing I need to remember how to do. So again, if you want stuff to stay crispy and you wanna really drain oil, you put it on a rack. You don't put it on the paper towel. So again, let's look at the other side. Whoa! So the other side, beautiful. Oh, wow. Did a much better job with these than I did last night. So, and again, there's not that much grease that's dripping off these, but if you wanna keep them crispy, and you do with these um, sort of mock vegetarian burgers, you want to put them on a rack. So, and I, I wanted to say to everybody, there is a, um, a, a reduced sugar ketchup out there that you should try because it's a lot less, it's like a third of the calories. You'd be surprised a tablespoon of ketchup, 15 or 20 calories. Um, that stuff can add up, excuse me, one second. And I'm back. So uh, with the ketchup, we get a, I'm gonna put, well actually let's put the burger on here. So, ooh, hot, that was hot. And they're soft inside. So I've got my burger on there. I'm gonna do a tablespoon of this. Uh, that's actually too much, wow, okay. Actually, I can take some of the calories down. Well, maybe I'll do a tablespoon. I like ketchup, I'm old fashioned. Tablespoon of ketchup. We've got, um, as uh, I'm gonna do a teaspoon of, or so of Dijon mustard. I love mayonnaise on a burger, but I'm not gonna do it on this one. We have our onion. Yummy. Oh, I, hold on one second. Don't go anywhere, don't go anywhere. Kevin, I forgot my lettuce, that's crazy. I love lettuce on a, 
I love lettuce on my burger. This is this nice little Boston lettuce. I just gotta have a leaf or two, my goodness. That's craziness. Um, but before we do that, we've got tomato. We've got our avocado to give us a nice fat feeling. Ooh. And then you get an ounce and a half of red pepper, which is, is a lot actually. There we go. And we're gonna put a little thing of, let's see, get some lettuce on that. Woo! You know what? They always look so pretty. <laughs> it always looks so pretty in the magazine, but it's just not practical. Look at that. Whoa! Let's see if I can get it to stay up there. How's that? Can that stay? All right, so here is your vegan burger. Again, 308 calories. You can add probably 20 for the olive oil because I actually didn't. I could take some off with the ketchup. Um, 10 Weight Watchers points, which is great. Um, and 12 things of fiber and 12 things of 12 grams of protein things. So let's cut into this sucker and watch it all fall apart. Woo! Look at that. Now, how, look at that. That's totally satisfying. And I'm going to take a big bite out of it on the camera. That's really good. Mm. And again. I'm sorry, it doesn't totally taste like a hamburger, but it's good. It's very tasty and not nearly as spicy. Do I have stuff on my face? Not nearly as spicy as it was um, last night because I put in more peppers and more cam, but that's really good. So, all right, enjoy. And again, this is a really good base. Now that you have the amounts of oats and beans and quinoa that you use, I think you could experiment putting in, um, you know, sauteed mushrooms. You might have to add a little more oats because of the moisture in the mushrooms, but you could do that. You could certainly go crazy and try to figure out all sorts of different combinations for your, um, oh, excuse me, vegetarian burger. So that's it. Oh, it's falling apart. That's it. Again, my name is John Cleese, and this is My Unexpected Guest. And I do want to say that you'll see a little button up in your videos that asks you to subscribe to the channel so you can subscribe to my um, YouTube channel or when you go to the recipe you can also subscribe to my blog and you'll be updated um, it'll send you an email when new videos are posted so that's it happy eating and good luck with your um, good luck with your weight loss and uh, let's make it a really great summer all right we'll talk to you soon